Well, hello, hello there. It is our third day, I believe, in Mostar, yeah. and it has been raining non-stop. It's like Armageddon rain levels. It's like, been insane. I was waiting to see if Noah's Ark would be coming <laughs> down the path. Oh my gosh. Like seriously, it, it, it actually reminds me of where I'm from. I'm from Vancouver Island, and sometimes in the fall and spring, you would just get like solid weeks of rain yeah and it just has not stopped like it's actually we actually when we actually went out the other day our our entire feet got soaked yeah so we went restaurant scouting last mm -hmm. night hoping to make a video and the streets were like rivers basically like from our ankles yeah. down we were soaked but anyways we did manage to find a really cool restaurant mm -hmm. and we're gonna go film there today the rain hasn't stopped but it's a little bit lighter so we're gonna make our way there and yeah show you what bosnian and herzegovina Herzegovian <laughs> food is all about. Yeah, we'll exactly. have to look that up. <laughs> and we'll try to get a few shots, but it is it is raining still, so yeah. we'll see what we can do. chosen a table that comes with cats. Hi yeah. Meow Meows! How many friends do you have? Well, I've got two like right next to me. One is practically on my lap. He's a dark kitty. And this one, actually this one looks a lot like the cat that lives near our apartment. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. <laughs> Might be related. Could be related, oh. for sure. We may have to share our lunch. FYI, I think this is happening. All right, so we are kicking off this meal. This is super exciting. We sat outside yeah. at the terrace. Yeah. We just we wanted an atmosphere kind yeah. of uh, table, and it's nice and quiet out here. There's lots of people inside, but yeah. nobody nobody else is outside. There's lots of cats. We're surrounded by cats. Yeah, we're surrounded by lots of cat friends. And, and you want to tell us about your drink? Yes. Yeah, so I'm very excited to be trying Bosnian coffee. Oh yeah. Um, this is my very first time to try it. Apparently, yeah. it's very similar to Turkish coffee. Super strong. It's supposed to be very strong. The grounds apparently are uh, the coffee grounds are still at the very bottom. Yeah. Of so they're the, not filtered yeah, out not of filtered. The, the water. So you have to let yep. them settle before you pour yourself a cup. Exactly. But anyways, let's talk about the process. So first step, yes. they gave you that little sweet treat. They gave us a sweet treat. And so the waiter said, eat that first. It. It's time to try a bite of that. <laughs> it looks so good. It kind of, it looks a bit like a, it looks like something like a honey, a big chunk of honey. Let's all try right, that. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, yeah. Is it like honey or Turkish delight? It reminds me something like exactly in between okay cool. i'm not even kidding like it has like the a bit of the jelly like consistency of, of okay. turkish delight yeah but it's much denser uh -huh. and it's much sweeter it, it just, it's overwhelmingly power like overpoweringly honey wow. flavored cool. that's wow that is good so now that you've eaten that you're supposed to take a little bite of the sugar and then sip on the coffee yes. okay let's try and that. apparently you can dip your sugar in the coffee to Ooh. soften it Pick that up. So dip the sugar. I'm gonna dip it in. Yeah. Look then you're that. gonna take a little bite of the sugar, mm -hmm. and you're gonna sip coffee right away. Or so I've been told. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. So obviously the first thing you taste is the sugar, and then that is one potent coffee. I must yeah, say. Yeah. It looks thick. Like it's, it kind of looks like mud. Almost. Yeah. It's a little sludge-like, sludge-like in its consistency. Yeah. But the sugar definitely uh, masks the, the masks the, the powerfulness, the, yeah. potent, the potency of the coffee a little Ooh. bit. That is some. I'm going to try it without sugar. Okay. Good luck. Oh yeah, that's yeah. nice and strong. Are you going to be Just jittery like all it. day? It's only yeah, like probably. I already, I already had like two cups of coffee at home, oh, and this man. is my third. So, yeah, I'm I'm wired for sound today, guys. All right. That's for and sure. now we are just waiting for the main dishes to arrive. That's right. Also, I feel like I should mention where we're eating because we kind of just ran in here with our umbrellas and didn't really show you the outside. It's called Sandravan yeah. and it's on the west side of the river just as soon as you cross the bridge. Yeah. 
But anyways, it's very now, easy to locate. Yeah, it's, it's like right it's, on the. It's main a pretty road. big restaurant. Yeah, like there's it really the, is. the outdoor eating area is big. Also mm -hmm. inside, there's ample space. Yeah, and you'll be able to spot the restaurant because there's hostesses outside wearing yeah. traditional outfits with the yeah. menus. So yeah, that's one clue. But anyways, I'm really curious about this, so I'm gonna try a little bit as well. It looks like honey. Oh my gosh. It sure does. Mm. Oh, wow. You weren't kidding. It's like right in between. Yeah. Like solid honey and Turkish <laughs> delight. It's, 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 I've never had, put it this way, I've never had locum or Turkish delight that's been that dense. That's so, so good. One more bite. I know, it's really ah. good. Mm. It'll get okay. you on a sugar high right away. All right, so now sugar. I don't normally put sugar. Actually, in coffee I do, not in cheese. Yeah, you do. You always, in fact, you, I've never seen you have a, a, a straight like, coffee. So. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. You know what? That's nice with a bite of sugar. That's actually really nice. I was expecting it to be like super bitter. Yeah. But that's nope. like a nice coffee. No, it's it's not super bitter. It, it's strong and potent, but it, yeah. ha it has a it has a nice taste. Like when I tried I guess it on its own. It's bitter when people burn the coffee beans, right? Is yeah. that when you ruin coffee? Well, I think like it, it really coffee is one of those like very subjective things. Mm. Um, it really just depends on, on what kind of taste you like. It's very much like wine. That is wonderful. It I is like wonderful. I like Boston coffee. This is so good. I'm I'm shocked because I'm not super into coffee. Like I'm usually latte and cappuccino girl, but this is good. Hmm. Learning new things here. Okay guys, the feast has landed on the table. <laughs> it sure and has. We're gonna start with the first dish, which is dolma. Yeah. And if you have a closer look at this, it's basically stuffed peppers with minced meat, rice, parsley, onions, and it comes with a giant dollop of cream in the middle. A giant so dollop. This looks wonderful. I'm just gonna dig yeah. right in. And all the food came all at once. Oh like, my gosh, it yes. Was just all brought. And we didn't have to wait very long. No. Like, what would you say? Maybe 10, 15 minutes tops? Yeah, they're we on just the, they're, playing with the cats and drinking coffee. They're really, the on, came. they're really on the ball here. Like, the meal we had last night was also brought really quickly. Mm. That is so good. It's just a nice, savory dish. It's not spicy at all. And it just reminds me of Turkish food a little bit. I feel like a lot of what we have at the table Reminds me of what we were eating in Istanbul. Istanbul, I can't Istanbul. even say right. And this is quite a funny moment because I've got one hand on my camera and another hand kind of trying to shoo away the kitties. I love kitties, but... <laughs> not uh, when they try to eat our yeah, food. Yeah, not when they try to eat our food. Like one of them tried jumping on the table and we're oh, like, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Like so. we share food, but that's a bit frisky. So yeah, this is really good. I've already had one whole pepper, basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Sam is going in for the dolma before they disappear. I've already had two out of the five, so... You, you really had a few already. Better hurry, boy. <laughs> gone to, I like, this is what I say, she's gone to town. Gone she's to left, town She's left food. me with very little. Well, it must be good. It is, <laughs> it really is. All right, I'm gonna make sure I get lots of cream. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's hiding his reactions under that oh. baseball cap. <laughs> it's so juicy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. And then you get the richness of the cream and just all the different ingredients inside. Yeah. That's magic. That's Yeah, it's that, really I good. see why you haven't been wanting to share so much. I'm going to have another plate. And I you can. know what? It makes a nice main or you could also have it as an appetizer because I feel like it's not super filling. Like I could no, probably eat that whole thing myself and yep. then move on to the main. Yeah, that, that would be a fantastic appetizer. Yeah. yeah, that's a really good point. All right, but next let's move on to your dish, which is what I had last night. Yes. And it was oh so good. So this is kind of the ultimate mixed plate. So yes. as you can see, like the other th uh, thing we just had, there's tons of sour cream. Sour cream. So then you have another one, one of dolma, the, one stuffed one pepper dolma. over there. What's really cool over here is you have like, it looks like some stewed meat. Yeah. Which is really and good. And it's so tender. I had that last night. And then you have what are the Bosnian cookies. <laughs> which is not a cookie at yeah. all. So what's at in all. it? 
Okay, so I had this last night and it's basically like a beef patty. Right. So it's made with ground beef, eggs, garlic, yeah. I think onions and like a little bit of breadcrumbs to give it texture. All kinds of goodness. So good. And then over here we have uh, a special kind of rice. So It looks like white plain rice actually. <laughs> okay. Let me try that and see if it's fine. But yeah, it, mm. it all goes really nice with, with the meat and the vegetables. It kind of feels like it's been cooked a little bit in, in, a, in a mushroom sauce, not mm. very faint. Okay, let's try that. So I am going to try first the meat. Got a little bit of cream on here. Oh man. Isn't that so tender? Yeah, it's next level tender. <laughs> next just, level. You don't even have to really chew it. It just starts disintegrating oh, in your mouth. That's a sign of tenderness. It's like baby food. Okay, let's try the Bosnian cookie. And that's what, it, oh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a flat little patty. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna take it for a bit of a swim. Also to have it with some rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so smooth. <laughs> it really is. It's, it's, it's such a smooth cookie. You know, I've never flavorful. heard I've never heard meat described yeah. as smooth, but I totally get it because it's just mushy. It's yeah, like, it's it just, just yeah. This all of this is kind of like it's just it's very easy to eat, very easy to chew, mm -hmm. and also the, it's just very delicious as well. All right, pass that over. I'll pass it over. All right, so I've only been here a few days, but I would say this is my favorite dish already: the mixed platter with lots of local favorites. And Sam, you were right. It's it's kind of a fancy rice. It's not plain white rice. Now that I see it in front of me, it's actually kind of yellow. Yep. And it looks like it has some herbs and spices. So yep. <laughs> you were right. I, I tasted a hint of, uh, of a bit of a mushroom sauce, but mm. very faint, very faint. It's so good. Isn't that good? Do you have a favorite uh, uh, in terms of like what's on the plate? Mm. On particular plate? Good question. I feel like, I feel like all the flavors mix really nicely together so I like grabbing a bite of yeah. everything yeah but I really enjoy the dolma the stuffed pepper with meat yeah. and rice and I also like the Bosnian cookie and then like the cream and yeah, the, the sour cream there's there's nothing weak on the plate there's nothing yeah. like oh that's just filler it's all good it all complements each other and I think it's a great plate to order because it gives you it gives you a sampler of, of a number of different things mm -hmm. you're basically eating four different things on that plate mm -hmm. so. and the cat's getting really interested can you see his face He's like closing his eyes and sniffing. You're interested in our food, kids? <sighs> I think you might be. <laughs> I feel like we need to start walking around with that box of cat food we bought yesterday. Yep. Feeding and the strays. It's getting, it's getting really brave. Cat. It's thinking about oh. jumping. Are you thinking about jumping on the table? Is that what you're thinking of doing? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Dish number three. This isn't actually a main. This was our side order. Yeah. We were trying to keep things relatively healthy. Yeah. So we Get got a in here. grilled vegetable platter. So if you take a closer look, we've got some slices of eggplant, zucchini. We have some mushrooms. Looks like another whole pepper, some tomato and sour cream. So yeah, let's sample a little bit of this. Go for eggplant. Oh, maybe a mushroom. It's a really nice plate. Yeah. It looks beautiful. The presentation here is just on point mm. for all the dishes. And it's nice. Like, it's pretty good, but I gotta say, I love the mains. Yeah. This I is, love uh, the meat and the rice and the is, stuffed peppers. This is peppers. for our, our, our vitamins and minerals, mm. right? <laughs> <laughs> for our health. But it's still good, but those two, wow. Those two, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, let me try it now. Okay. Do you want to talk about your utensil usage, Sam? Well, I'm trying to be a little bit less like a caveman, not holding my fork like this. A little bit more of a relaxed grip, and let's but see how that it's, goes. But it's still... <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm not changing my hands. I'm too much of an old dog to learn oh, that nature. Oh but, okay. Your knife needs to be in the right hand. All right, I am going for brand. mushroom plus uh, other veggies. Mm. <laughs> oh, juicy. Mmm. Not bad for just vegetables, right? Yeah, I mean, it's simple flavors. It's just been grilled. So, I mean, you're getting the juiciness of the vegetables, mm -hmm. but yeah, there's nothing complex about it in any way. It's yeah. just, just a nice way to get to get your veggies. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, let's just enjoy our meal and we'll be back for dessert. We sure will. And now for a dessert, we're having something that I've eaten a million times probably. An old now, favorite. Apparently, I've been pronouncing it wrong all along. I thought you called this baklava. At least that's what we say in my house. And the waiter just corrected me. Apparently it's 
baklava. 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 So for today's dessert, we're having a big slice of baklava and that we, we're gonna share. We, and this has got some wonderful layers, I must say. Oh yeah, look at all those juices. Okay, I'm destroying it. Don't That's destroy okay. Destroy the dessert. Don't worry. Let's see. So yeah, if you've never tried this before, it's basically kind of like a like a milfuri pastry, like a puff pastry with all these layers. And in between, you've got like these finely chopped nuts yeah. with either honey or some kind of sugary syrup. Yeah. Um. So it's really good, but you oh. don't you don't need a big portion because yeah, it's like right. it's so it's so it's so dense and syrupy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the English word in Spanish. We would call this empalagoso. Like it's so <laughs> overwhelming and like sweet and sticky. It just kind of coats your yeah. whole palate. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's baklava for you. <laughs> In he goes for oh the goodness. last dish of the day. Oh my goodness. And when you when I'm pressing down with the fork, like the, the syrup and the juices are oh, just kind just of oozing. Oozes. Just oozes out. And this is something that actually um, everyone in my family loves, including yeah. my mom and dad, yeah. Sometimes when I'm in Fredericton there's a there's a little uh, lemony shop and we'll actually go and, and bring home baklava. Baklava. And it doesn't. Oh, right, baklava. <laughs> and it doesn't last long. I can tell you, it does not last long. No, I really like the the mm. chocolate one. When we were in Istanbul mm. a few years ago, I would get chocolate baklava oh, yeah. like almost every day. Oh my gosh, what I like the most about this one, is just the generous amounts of nuts that have been, like on that very top layer here. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Well, mm. this has been a wonderful meal. Let's enjoy this. Yeah. And yeah, we'll let you know how much it costs once we get the bill. Just paid the bill. We sure did. What was the damage? So in local currency, which is Bosnian convertible market, which has like I think like a 1.6 exchange rate with the US dollar, that came to 22 US dollars and 50 cents, and in euros that was 1940. Mm -hmm. So that included two drinks. We didn't show what you had. You kind of I had, had like lemonade. a lemonade. Yeah, we turned into the lemonade, the Turkish coffee, Bosnian the, coffee. Oh sorry, oh, my. <laughs> Bosnian coffee. My mistake. Um, then the three dishes, the three yeah. main dishes we had, and also the baklava to share. Nice. So I thought that was fantastic value. I think that's great value to be honest. Oh. It was and such just good food. The, the quality of the food here is fantastic. The presentation is just, it's next level, it's on yeah. point. And then on top of that you get really good service. So this is a place I would recommend highly. I give it a 5 out of 5. Yes. So good. All we'll right. be back. <laughs> Alright, ta-ta.